Starting uh, with the Great Depression, we learned that if you gave some support to people so that they could have a, a, a chance to have a business or work again, uh, that that stimulated the economy. So it wasn't that, that you were actually uh, making people reliant on welfare, you were giving them just enough to be able to be the, the entrepreneurs and the, and the innovators. And, and they took advantage of that. And we have current examples of that too, which are really interesting and exciting. Such as? Well, for instance, when uh, uh, Finland uh, had a uh, community that was set up to do uh, uh, cell phones and that, that uh, business collapsed, uh, they found that if they uh, provided a way for people to uh, be able to be innovative, because these were very well-educated people in, in science and technology, that, that out of a little bit of support, less than they would have had to give them, uh, give them for uh, unemployment compensation, they got people who were uh, getting things going in terms of their business, in terms of, of uh, 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 building something again. Give them a fish they eat tonight, teach them how to fish, they eat forever. Right, and all it took was a, sh a, a, a small boost to do that. Yeah. Less than, than it would have been to try to, to, to just have them on the dole. And there's still going to be problems, and lots always, of them. Always, it's and, never and, and, and that's where, you, you know, the problems that we have today in our divisiveness, it's a reflection of not only coming from Donald Trump, but it also is comes from of our... Uh, country being 250 years old and and it's growing pains and hey we get when when we get older we get diseases and we get ill and that's who we americans are we're 250 years old and everything's not working like clockwork anymore that's true Staunch moderates were just pounding the same old drum all the way back to 1783 when we founded our constitutions, our forefathers did. That is, we're pounding the same darn drum of come together in collaboration and working things out and moving forward in the fairest possible policy that we could humanly come up with. We're pounding that same drum. It's the, it's the same old theme. That's what staunch moderates is all about. If, we're, if we really work together, we offset each other's weaknesses and we build on each other's strengths. And it is, it is possible to do that. I've, I've seen it happen in organizations uh, over the years that I've been part of here in the Aspen area. Yeah. Right? Where we've actually uh, uh, produced something because we brought our best qualities as participants and we made something happen. Right, right. At the same time. That's not always available to happen in society. True. People, there's people out there that don't want to have anything to do with what you or I have to say right That's here. right. That's you, right. you know, those, right. Ex, those extremists. <laughs> <laughs> and then some, not just the extremists, you know. But, but it's uh, fascinating when you listen to people, even uh, who come on fairly extreme. Sometimes you find that one guy at uh, is a Socrates Cafe that's now doing the next that, Socrates that's Cafe. That's, that's right. an example. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and, and, we, and I've found other people over the years that that seem to be really out there, and they actually brought an energy to uh, uh, an effort to uh, expand uh, uh, counseling services, or you know, they brought a, a, a vision to deal with the. The homeless problem in the area. I mean, we, we've we've uh, tapped into some really interesting people here over the 38 years. In Aspen, in Aspen? there's interesting people here. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> like us, right? <laughs>